This is a test that many moms have asked me to do because it is something that children eat all the time. Why, today, we will see exactly what Prince cookies will do to my glucose levels. So, there are people who think that they're cookies that are not bad for your health because they fill you up, because there's a bit of cereal, because there's a little bit of chocolate. So, in the end, they're somewhat balanced between fats and there are others who consider it to be something very industrialized, highly processed, and therefore not healthy at all, especially since it's something we tend to give to children quite regularly. So today I will do this test on myself. I will eat exactly three Prince cookies, which is about the average people eat, and we will see exactly the impact it has on my glucose level. The goal here is really to see if it's something we can eat from time to time as a little treat for a snack, or if it's something that has a really negative impact and should really be avoided. So, in three Prince Biscuits like this, we have 279 calories. There are exactly 39 grams of carbohydrates, of which 19 grams are sugar. There are also three grams of protein and six grams of fat, but only 0.5 gram of fiber, so there is not much to slow down the glycemic rise. Honestly, in terms of nutrition, it resembles a bit like an industrial dessert. If you also want to look at the nutritional details of all the food you eat, I recommend the app Sugar AI. You just have to scan the food, and then it gives you all the nutritional details, much more than what I show only in the videos, because sometimes I can't show everything, but there are many details. So, I will test this uh, by pricking my finger, because it's the best way to get the most accurate results possible, and I will check at regular intervals to see exactly if it raises my glucose level very quickly at first, or if it's rather stable. So, fasting now, we see that I am at 103 milligrams, which is a little too high. After five minutes, 114 milligrams, it's already rising. After 15 minutes, 142 milligrams, that's already a lot. After 30 minutes, 187 milligrams. After one hour, 201 milligrams, that is already a big peak, right? After 90 minutes, I finally went back down to 168, but it's still very high. So, for three cookies, it still has a big impact. Honestly, it is not ideal at all. Even for people who do not yet have problems with their blood sugar, I would advise against eating products like that, which are very sugary, very processed, and do not have a lot of nutritional benefits. Over time, they could gradually create insulin resistance.